Okay, so the first hairstyle is called the mermaid plait. So what you are going to need to do is just normally brush your hair. And now if you have a fringe, you might want to tie it away from the rest of your hair so that it doesn't get mixed up. I'm just using a normal rubber band. Fabulous. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is brush all of your hair to one side. And now what you're going to do, you're going to split your hair in half and get a tiny piece from each side and join it to one. So you should have a small piece that's around about this thick. And you're just going to tie it with a rubber band to keep it away from the rest. And now splitting it into two again, I'm going to discard the back half and get to the first half first. And what I'm going to do is back comb it a little bit. No one will be able to tell once it's in a plait. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to plait it. But instead of putting the hair forward, I'm going to put it to the back. the end remember to tie it with a rubber band and now what you're going to do is do the exact thing on the other half of your hair Once those two are done, you can now take away the rubber band off that small string of hair. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to thread it through the top part of your first plait that is towards the front. And now what you're going to do is thread it to the top part of the back plait. And then, and then you're going to go back to the front part and thread it through there and then you're going to keep repeating this. It's kind of like a stitch. And now you will need to put a band at the bottom of it and after you have removed the two bands off the bottom this is what you should get. Okay, so this next look I called the braid headband. This is very simple, again you're going to need to get all of your hair to one side. And what I'm going to do now is just simply plait it with my head tilted so that it's kind of plaiting to the side. You don't need to back comb it this time because when it's thinner it is better. Now what I'm going to do is twist it at the roots and pull it over my head. And depending on how thick your hair is, is how many bobby pins you're going to need to put in. I need to put in about 10 of them, so you will need a lot. And that's the finishing look. This next look I call the pull through ponytail and it's very simple. All you have to do is put your hair into a loose but neat ponytail. And then what you're going to do is put a hole in between it, put about two fingers in so that you can pull the ponytail back through. You might need to watch this video a couple of times to see what I'm doing. And that's it. And this is your finishing look. Hey guys, it's Amber and it's Fab Friday. So this week's theme was tutorial, so I showed you guys three quick and easy hairstyles. So that's it, shout outs from last week go to. For a chance to get a shout out next week, comment down below what hairstyle was your favourite. That's it, bye!